Hey guys, I thought I'd share an update on one of my Raspberry Pi projects. I've been posting some teasers on Instagram and my friends have been asking me what's happened to this project. I thought I'll share. I came up with the idea on one of the Raspberry Pi groups that I follow where someone posted a picture of an old USB robotics fax modem saying, hey, what could I do with this? Naturally someone chirped in and said, well why don't you make the LED lights blink randomly on and off? So I added, well why don't you play the USB modem noises randomly to give people a bit of a fright. This seemed to have gotten a lot of positive reaction from people saying we should definitely do this. I jokingly showed the post to one of my friends and he said you should do this. So I thought how hard could it be? I thought it should be a quick build, there's not a lot involved, making some LED lights flash on and off and playing some noises, wave files should be really easy with a Raspberry Pi. I managed to source an old USB modem um, that someone claimed was still working, although the contamination on the board was so bad, I highly doubt that thing was still working or even safe. So I didn't want it to just have flashing LED lights and play wave files, I wanted to actually do something, but maybe not in a conventional way. So I thought, well, why don't we turn this historic USB modem into something modern? And I turned it into a 3G hotspot. So the idea being that the modem will act like a modem but in fact be a 3G router that you can connect to that creates a Wi-Fi hotspot you can connect to and access the internet. So for the components I used the Raspberry Pi Zero and a USB 3G dongle. I did not use the Raspberry Pi Zero W because I was finding the Wi-Fi signal was struggling to create a, Wi-Fi, a sustainable Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, therefore I went for the traditional Zero and used a USB Wi-Fi dongle instead to create the Wi-Fi hotspot. In terms of prep for the project I cleaned up the original circuit board of the modem, removed all the capacitors, resistors, chips, everything off it to free up some space for the extra devices I'll be putting inside. I also stripped a USB hub which I will be adding to the Raspberry Pi Zero as, as the Raspberry Pi Zero obviously only has one USB port and I will be using at least two devices um, for this project. So I added to include a small hub for this which I stripped and resized um, to fit inside the case. The overall build was not too difficult. First I d decided to get the LEDs working which was a little bit more tricky than I thought it would be because of the design of the original circuit board. I measured the voltage over the LED endpoints and uh, worked out the correct um, resistor for that, soldered that all into place and got the lights to actually work and come on as I wanted to. Next I got the Wi-Fi hotspot working as I thought this was probably going to be the most tricky part for me to go. I did a simple test using two USB Wi-Fi dongles, uh, make the one the hotspot and make the other one connect to my home network. Got that working with IP tables and it was able to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot and route out through my normal internet. So I was happy with that. Then I got the USB um, 3G dongle working which wasn't too difficult either. And once I married the two I was able to connect a Wi-Fi hotspot that was able to route out and in through the USB 3G dongle. So that was easy. Adding the sound was, was a little bit more work that I wanted to. Um, I didn't want to use a USB sound card for this project as I was running out of space inside the modem. Um, so I decided to rather create a solution similar to what I did for my RetroPie Game Boy build um, whereby I created a small circuit board for converting uh, or channeling the audio through the GPI opens and then connect that to a speaker which worked quite handsomely and took up a lot less space um, inside the device and it, the audio output was good enough for emulating a modem. The software part of this project was actually quite fun. I obviously had to marry the hardware devices with the Linux services and my Python script to make all this work so that when you switch the modem on not only does the LED lights come on and off, sound play over the speaker, but it also sets up the Wi-Fi hotspot, makes the 3G connection with the USB modem, and sets up the IP tables between the two devices so that when you connect via Wi-Fi to the modem that it routes your traffic through to the internet via 3G. I added in some extra error checking for basic things like what if the router can't connect to the 3G network, um, it will automatically redial, and with that also handle 
the LED lights so that when if it has to redial to reset the lights in the correct sequence and start up again like a USB modem would. Truth be told I had to watch a, a YouTube video to double check the actual boot sequence of an old USB robotics modem so that I can get the actual LED lights come on on the correct sequence. The final thing I added was to actually the set, transmit and receive LEDs when you use the um, 3G router or the traffic routing through the 3G router. It will actually flash the lights according to the traffic being transmitted and the traffic being received and also based on the volume of data the intensity of the LED will increase or decrease so the more data you send the brighter the LED will flash and longer it will flash the less data it will obviously be flickering very little or not at all in terms of the final product it looks pretty good uh, from the front it doesn't seem like anything other than a traditional classic USB robotics modem However, when you turn it around, you will notice that I made space for a um, HDMI connector to be, allow you to connect this device to a screen. I did it mainly for an extra gimmick to show people that, that doesn't know the Raspberry Pi that you can actually run a full desktop off the device. And also, I left a USB port at the rear so that I can plug in my USB keyboard and mouse so that I can do either debugging or interface with the desktop um, should I want to show that off. This was just a fun little project. It came out of a silly idea that someone made on a forum somewhere um, that I kind of thought, well, I could make this. Um, let me see if I can. And I think it embodies the whole idea of the Raspberry Pi and, and it's a learning tool and, and, and just sometimes building silly things like this just teaches you things, how to make things work and what is possible with the Raspberry Pi. It's by no means stretching the capacity of what this could do but it just, was just a fun, quick two-day build that I really enjoyed. If you like this video, if you like my little projects, please hit a like on this video. I'd really appreciate it. This is my first attempt at this, so uh, yeah, any comments would be welcomed. Hope you enjoyed. There, there, elbow. Altman, elbow. Airplanes, you're gonna hear them a lot. How hard could it be?